breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. Outrage as Bola Ahmed Tinobu lands in deep trouble shortly after he gave 50 million naira to Zamfara State resident. Outrage as Bola Ahmed Tinobu lands in deep trouble shortly after he gave 50 million naira to Zamfara State resident. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Sahara Reporters on Thursday reviewed that APC chieftain Bola Ahmed Tinobu paid a courtesy visit to Zamfara State to commiserate with the state government over the unexpected incident which took place in the state in the recent weeks. Bola Ahmed Tunubu is alleged to have given the sum of 15 million naira to the victims of the casualties. While speaking with the governor of Zamfara State, he revealed that he could have called him on phone to speak with him, but he decided to come in person due to the sensitivity of the incident. The APC chieftain maintained that he believes that the president, Muhammad Buhari, has what it takes to defeat any bad group in the country, including bandits and terrorists who have continued to make life difficult for the people. He urged the governor of the state to remain hopeful that the challenges faced the country as a result of the activities of the terrorist group would come to an end very soon. In reaction to what he said, Nigerians took to the comment page to accuse him of giving false presses to the president due to his interest in becoming the next president of the country. Moga, Tinubu doesn't deserve to succeed President Buhari. He is a radical member who doesn't believe one Nigerian during the IBB regime. And up to today, he is still a member of the group, which Sunday Ido now enjoying their support. Censors So Buhari can crush bandit. He is aware and just had been intentionally silent over them. Tinobu and Buhari are Danjuma and Dan Jamai, birds of the same feathers. Onovo says Buari, Buari's government can crush Boko Haram and Bandit, but failed to crush them. Continue deceiving yourself. Buari cannot give you an APC ticket. Rio says, This man is admitting indirectly that Buari is incompetent. This means that Buari has in his possession the arsenal to defeat the terrorist, but he is not using his rightly, he is sympathizing with them. Sorosuke, Tinobu the gods are listening. Chi says, campaign don't start. If you like, make one do mistake. Vote the person again, vote the wrong person again. 
As for me, my international passport done ready, and it's more mistake. I don't, I don't jack back from this country, make Una they enjoy arm. Um. Check some says, yes, we know. Just that they are still playing their games and doing businesses, politics with it, which they have been successful, they should continue. Sanusi says, when Buhari is elected as the president, Abi, unfortunately, Buhari lacks the ability now because he is not the president. Nonsense then. Chooks says since 2015 till date, though we believe that certain unknown, known, seen and unseen element in the affected zones in the north seems to be working against its effort. Sahara reporters on Thursday revealed that APC chieftain Bola Ahmed Tinobu paid a courtly visit to Zamfara State to commiserate with the state government over the unexpected incident which took place in the state in the recent weeks. Bola Ahmed Tinobu is alleged to have given the sum of 50 million naira to the victims of the casualties. While speaking with the governor of Zamfara State, he revealed that he could have called him on phone to speak with him, but he decided to come in person due to the sensitivity of the incident. The APC chieftain maintained that he believes that the president, Muhammad Buhari, has what it takes to defeat any bad group in the country, including bandits and terrorists who have continued to make life difficult for the people. He urged the governor of the state to remain hopeful that the challenges faced in the country as a result of the activities of the terrorist group would come to an end very soon. To my dear listeners, finally we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.